What can happen to your body if you decide to remove your gallbladder? The gallbladder is a small sac under the liver that sometimes stores stones or bile sludge. It can become inflamed, hurt, cause a digestive problem, and a pain that often becomes unbearable. Very often doctors tell us, remove your gallbladder, take that organ out of your body and you'll see that everything can improve. But is it true? What happens to our body if I remove my gallbladder? So in today's video, we will see what the consequences are of removing an organ like the gallbladder that we all have in the body and how to avoid this health problem. A warm greeting to everyone. I am Arturo Agustin Landivar, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. On this channel as a conventional doctor, I treat my patients through natural medicine, homeopathy, and acupuncture before resorting to pharmaceutical drugs. Therefore, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and press the bell below to receive notifications and be the first to see the new video. If you need an online consultation or quality supplements for your health, visit drlandivar.com and stay until the end of the video where there will be tips and videos related to this topic. Our gallbladder stores the well-known bile that we have in our body. This green juice is released every time we consume a large amount of fats, foods, things we need to digest so that our body can emulsify the fats separate them and absorb them so that we can have good health. Now very often we go to the doctor after experiencing pain in the right rib, a pain we don't know the origin of, after eating a piece of pork, something greasy, foods that are often unhealthy, and the first thing the doctor tells us is that we need to have our gallbladder removed. But is it true that we need to remove this precious organ? What can we do to reverse it? And above all, what are the consequences of having such surgery and never seeing a gallbladder that you always had again? So in today's video, we are going to see what the most serious consequences of removing the gallbladder are and how you can prevent or reverse this health problem. Number one, you will have an intolerance to fats. The gallbladder is a small sac-like organ that is precisely tinted green, the same green as our bile, the bile that is released by the liver to be stored by this small sac called the gallbladder. Now, when we have a poor diet, a very abrupt hormonal change, we lose or gain weight uncontrollably, we do not, in short, have a good lifestyle, our liver releases with that bile certain fats that gradually calcify, become sludgy, and form stones in the gallbladder, which obviously cause pain because this organ also gets damaged. If you are thinking about removing your gallbladder, know that after removing it, you will probably still have an intolerance to fats. The gallbladder stores a large amount of bile that must be released when you eat a, a copious meal, especially with fat, dairy, cheeses, yogurts, ice creams, pork, very fatty meats. And since you don't have the gallbladder, your digestion will be much more difficult. To prevent this from happening, change your diet in advance. Stop consuming a lot of fat meats, fried foods, packaged foods, canned, jarred, and you will see that the pains you have probably will not reappear. If you need quality supplements that can help improve this health issue, help the body emulsify that digestion, improve and reduce inflammation of the gallbladder, look for gall matrix free out and D enzymes from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number two, constant bloating and gas. Once your gallbladder is removed, your digestion will be somewhat impaired, let's say. You will lack that small organ that releases a large amount of bile to properly digest food. In these cases, 
you will have to create or let's say improve your diet so that what you consume does not cause inflammation, bloating or fill you with gas. And quite simply, you say that after the gallbladder operation, you had thousands of digestive problems, quite simply because you removed an organ that obviously was part of that digestive process. Keep in mind the gases, the bloating, the poor digestion, you will probably have it simply because this organ is no longer there to help you. That could have been damaged by hormonal changes, by a problem of poor diet, by poor execution of daily life. And thus, obviously, digestion will not be able to accompany you either. If you need quality supplements that can help prevent, improve, and reduce those gases and bloating, look for Denzymes, Probillion, and Gall Matrix from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number three, constant diarrhea that does not go away. After a gallbladder operation, the doctor will normally prescribe antibiotics. Antibiotics to kill all those bacteria that can or could cause you an infection, making you even sicker than you already are. And with that, obviously you are going to kill, eliminate, eradicate all the bacteria in your digestive system that you use to digest your food. With this, diarrhea and digestive discomfort begin to appear. You might think it's a gallbladder problem, but in reality, in this case, it could be a misuse of antibiotics that often, due to overuse, leave you with an incomplete digestion. If you need quality supplements that can help improve this digestive system with probiotics, good healthy bacteria that enhance your health, look for Probillion, Woman's Probillion, Dienzymes, and Chal Lupgon from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number four, stomach acidity and poor absorption of food. When you had the gallbladder, it released bile so that what you digested was digested well. Now that you don't have it, the bile you release into your food is probably not going to be enough for all this food to truly emulsify, digest, and absorb as it should. Now that you don't have the gallbladder, you probably have to eat smaller portions so that true absorption can occur and you don't suffer from malabsorption issues simply because this small organ that stored that bile will no longer do it the same way. Be very careful with digestion. Digestion is very important. You need to have enough bacteria, enzymes, and bile as well so that the body can obviously be nourished and you can stay young as you truly deserve. If you need quality supplements to make this happen, look for Chalgon, Gall Matrix, Dienzymes, and Probillion from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number five, should you or should you not remove the gallbladder? It's a very good question. And once the gallbladder is constantly inflamed, causing you a lot of pain that appears every two or three days, preventing you from living, it has probably reached a point where nothing can be done about it. If on the other hand, you experience gallbladder pain once a month, notice that you eat a heavy meal and then the problem appears, you still have a long way to go. Maybe surgery is not necessary and probably with a change in diet, with good nutrition and with good bodily function, the issue will resolve and you may not need to remove your gallbladder, which many times the doctor will insist on removing because obviously it's a little more work for him. So be careful to know well when you should and should not remove the gallbladder. It will all depend on the health condition you have and what you can or cannot do to reverse it before you lose it completely. And don't forget to leave a like by sharing it with someone who might be interested in the topic. If you have any doubts or questions, leave your comment below and I will gladly respond. If you need quality supplements for your health or an online consultation, visit drlandivar.com. And right here in the videos, you will find valuable information that can be a serious priority in the future. Thank you for attending and see you.